It's been really exciting to see the results of the surpassed series of studies with tazapatide, which is a GLP-1 GIP dual agonist presented at the American uh, Diabetes Association meeting. Uh, we've seen uh, this uh, compound result in HbA1c reductions of 2% or, or, or more at the highest doses tested. And it seems to work right across the spectrum of type 2 diabetes from uh, the very early uh, stage of the disease when people are just being treated uh, with diet and exercise, right through in surpass 5 uh, to people who are already being treated with insulin. I think the most impressive uh, thing is firstly the HbA1c reduction and the fact that a very high proportion of people are actually able to get uh, down to HbA1c levels that are almost within the normal range. Uh, and secondly, uh, what is very impressive is the amount of weight loss, which uh, is approximately uh, 10%. And actually, in the head-to-head -head study uh, with semaglutide at the one milligram dose was actually more effective than semaglutide at all of the doses tested, uh, and particularly at the highest dose tested, uh, achieving nearly twice as much weight loss as semaglutide. Of course, Putting this in context, uh, we now have sustained forte showing semaglutide at two milligrams and the results of the step two study with semaglutide at 2.4 milligrams. Uh, and so I think when you put all this together, we're probably going to be able to end up with quite similar degrees of weight reduction with the highest doses used of tazapatide and the highest doses used of semaglutide. I think what's really interesting as well is the fact that this is going to change the way we think about uh, using insulin in, in type 2 diabetes because in the head-to-head -head, uh, trial with insulin degladec, uh, we see uh, actually better HbA1c reductions with weight loss as opposed to weight gain with insulin. And even in those patients who are already being treated with insulin, who are insulin requiring patients with type 2 diabetes, we're actually able to see reductions in, in the insulin dose uh, when we look at the highest 15 milligram dose of tazapatide. Of course, the key thing that's going to make a real difference to whether this new drug is used is whether it shows cardiovascular protection. And we were going to have to wait for the results of the surpassed cardiovascular outcome trial, which is in fact a head-to-head -head study against dulaglutide, a GLP-1 receptor agonist, which we already know has uh, good effects to prevent cardiovascular disease in people with type 2 diabetes. Looking uh, forward to how we're going to use these medications in, in the clinic, and particularly uh, tazapatide, uh, we do now have a range of doses for uh, the GLP-1 receptor agonists, such as semaglutide, uh, with the two milligram uh, uh, dose uh, being put forward for regulatory approval, and of course, 2.4 milligrams already approved for the treatment of, of obesity. So I think in the clinic, what we may find happening is that people are going to use uh, the dose uh, that is perhaps best tolerated by patients and achieves uh, the appropriate treatment goal, whether that be HbA1c reduction or weight reduction. 